Well, welcome back to this, Jack. I need to figure out the sound thing. So what I realized is, by the way, that <clears throat> um, because of how I have it set to transmit over there, line in is one set audio thing, or line out is one set audio thing. So I have to mute myself completely on this side. So basically, like when I'm doing my standby screen, so y'all can't hear me. Um, so if like I'm talking to somebody or getting my head together for something, then I don't have to worry about it. All right, before we get started, though, I do want to show... What's up, Trickster? I do want to talk about something real fast, kind of semi-serious. Semi this annoys the hell out of me right here. No one cares, okay? No one cares that the character is not myth-accurate. No one cares. No one cared. No one cared. No one cared. No one cared. But all of a sudden, somebody decides to go um, saying it's social justice warrior stuff. And this bothered me, especially because I was scrolling through here, and it just gets worse. Like, there's some people who straight up said, like, one of the, one of the ones that annoyed me the most, like, didn't piss me off, just annoyed me, because there's ones that pissed me off, was, well, I'm going to get this for PC and use all the mods to turn all the characters white. Okay. Uh, this is for, um, sorry, in case you don't know, this is for God of War Ragnarok, uh, basically Loki's future wife. Um, they're like, well, she's supposed to be white. No, she's a frost giant. She's supposed to be blue, but fuck that shit. So, it just annoys the hell out of me. Like, no one cares. So, that's just me, uh, me venting. Um... Yeah, and apparently PC Focus has a history of doing this, where they'll say, oh, well, they'll say a bunch of a rather racist shit, apparently. And, um, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out of my system. I was scrolling through and I saw that, and I was just really peeved by it. And I had to say something. I'm loading up Elden Ring now. I gotta find out if my Kingdom Hearts is on my PlayStation or if it's on my computer. I can't remember which one I bought it for. I want to say it's my PlayStation because I think all my Kingdom Hearts are on my PlayStation. In which case, I have to figure out how to set up my PlayStation to go to my console or my computer again. Unfortunately, all my capture card stuff is currently going to just me doing my current work, um, which I can easily translate it around, no issue, because uh, I can disc. So. I have two different things. I have one that's a capture card that's running from this computer to that computer, and I have another one that's capturing the camera that I use for on my second stage, which I don't need while I'm doing this, unless I start doing VR stuff, which then I still won't need it. So all I gotta do in theory would be to plug my PlayStation into that capture card and move the capture card over to there so that I can um, play my PlayStation stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out of there because I know that was something that was important. But I did promise you one stream of me playing Kingdom Hearts. And depending on how I feel about it, I might keep going. Anyway, we got my new punchers. And I still got Braggart's Roar on it. Which has a unique form of roar. That did up the damage, it seems. Weapon's definitely worth it. Um, I still need to give me a, have me a good slashing one, so I still have the poison one in my offhand. Eventually, I won't need that because I'll be getting the one I really want, which is where I'm going to be heading shortly. All right, we've done all that. We're going to do a fight that I was avoiding earlier. Oh, hope it's good. But you got to say that right if you're going to say, "I'm going to see the William Shatner." Documentary tonight. You gotta say it with like all the proper dramatic pauses and everything. Hey, Gothic. How is you? I was streaming making Matt's character earlier. Uh, too bad you were asleep, otherwise I probably would have, or you were busy. I probably would have had you join in so we could make your character too. 
Which is probably the best that you didn't, because I had um because my stomach said, hey, you gotta go. And I had to go. But in the stream rather abruptly. Yeah. And they probably deserved it. avoiding trying to do this fight just because I don't like this fight. But we're gonna go do the fight. Right now I'm gonna keep Braggart's War on this, I might switch it over later. to share my stream all over the place. Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna take care of that real fast. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> well it means you were asleep, effectively. If you fell asleep, then you were asleep. You never really got up. We're just sharing the link to, uh, me being live to my other my two Discord channels. That doesn't count. can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I am so fucking sorry. <laughs> you just see me like, oh fuck. Oh my fuck. Couldn't see the game. <laughs> Y'all didn't miss anything. I just got my ass kicked. Alright. He's asking for it. I'm not fucking around anymore.
Stop doing these colossal wound killing attacks. You twat bottle, stop it. This is why I hate fighting him, is just because his attacks are so full of bullshit. Remember, I didn't need to fight him. That was more out of spite. Also because I wanted a shield. You have to there is another version of him later. Yeah, I killed him. He's still a twat waffle though. I want to take Braggart's War off. Or Boggart's War, Braggart's War, whatever. I'm taking it off. have enough to level up, I think. I have just enough to level up. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm raising my faith so I can use some of the other spells, though. Alright. Well, let's get over to the Consecrated Snowfield. Or not the Consecrated, the Hilltop of the Giants. Message there. there. Oh, very nice. Yeah, we didn't get to play last night because I was so fucking tired. I'll probably be tired again tonight, but we'll figure something out. I do know that I might not do my Twitch stream because I did a Twitch stream earlier today. Uh, but if I were to do a Titch stream, Titch, Titch stream, Titch stream, I'm going to do a Titch stream. Um, it would probably be. Um, uh, Soul Slinger, but I probably I might not because um, our older sibling has their computer working and they have a game they are able to play now and it's Diablo 4, so I have that uh, reinstalled so I'm able to play the game with them. That there's any point in killing them. They do apparently drop a decent weapon. That horn is apparently those horns are pretty good ones. Like people are like, hey, the bubble it does is actually pretty legit. That big one up there is even more so. Apparently it's like a 0.01% chance of dropping. But I am not holding my breath and trying to get that. Hurt. 
just thought he could. That. Oh, I got a fun boss fight coming up. I actually might ask for help on that one. I'll definitely be summoning my Mimic, but... If I can't get it with my Mimic, then I might actually have to get more help. Oh yeah, I'm still doing, um... I'm still doing uh, uh, my waifu's uh, quest line. I have to go do that too. Right. Trying to decide. But I got to the Lake of Rod. I got to the other side of the Lake of Rod too. Can I mount up? Oh, you beat the Crystal Knight boss? Nice. Which one? There's like several. Nascent <gasps> Butterfly. Uh, that's a misbegotten. Afraid of heights? <laughs> okay. Because like, there's one in Stormwind itself. There's one in what? There's two in two different um, catacombs. trouble with those guys than I should have. I'm a little upset with myself. Get the bow. vaguely annoyed because they're doing a lot more damage to me than they should be getting away with. Oh, he's got glowing eyes. I was going to ignore him, but I noticed he got glowing eyes. Ow. That's a lot of runes right there. Yeah, the one in Stormwind, uh, Stormvale Castle, Stormwind, whatever the fuck it's called, um, is one that sneaks up on you, because you have to know where it's at. I think this one suddenly gets big after I break it once. He almost got away from me. He actually may still get away from me. No, he got away. I don't even know what he is. Damn it. I futzed up. If I hadn't jumped too soon, I would have gotten him. Oh, well. I got a boss fight coming up. I really am not looking forward to fighting the... Uh... There's a um, giant flying gravity thing I have to fight soon, and I don't want to. But I'm going to have to. Boo. Uh, I'm gonna, there's a side of grace going up. I'm gonna take or going down. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna grab it real fast. 
and then I'm gonna come right back up. Just so I can reset all my shit, because it's gonna be... I don't remember being a tough fight, I just remember being two things I'm fighting. It means more than likely I will summon my Mimic just to get one of them off me. Well, he's such and he's such an emo, such a random spot. Like you have to, like you don't know there's a spot to jump down right where uh, to get to him. You have to know it's there or have uh, or like scour every inch of the map. Like to be honest, a lot of Souls like players are used to doing. Like hell, I think one of the best examples of that bullshit is Medir. Oh, I didn't actually rest. Is actually Medir as being the best example. We're taught all the damn time. Don't go underneath the elevators, you'll fall to your death. Don't go underneath the elevators, you'll fall to your death. Don't go underneath the elevators, you'll fall to your death. There are two separate times where it tells you the opposite. Two. Only two. In all the Souls-like games, there are two. One is Medir, and the other is um, one of the early elevators you deal with in uh, Dark Souls 3, where you can go up on it, and then there's a platform that comes up underneath it. I want coffee. Alright, I think this is the Omen Killer fight. I don't think it's a Godskin Noble fight. Okay. Yeah, it's two uh, Fell Twins. You know what? Screw it. You guys are gonna fuck around and find out. My other my, my twin is getting their ass kicked. My Mimic tier is literally just there as a decoy. They're not even a good decoy, it seems. Oh shit. What type of magic is that? Fuck, fuck. My turn. Nope, don't need to press it. Got all those angered souls or whatever the hell that's supposed to be come at me. Got his ass. This 
fight with one uh, so as you just fought against God's gonna know now it's at least representative of both being long and over. You right. You right. You right. How's a hi, how you doing? <sighs> yeah, I I don't like twin fights at all. At least with the Godskin Nobles, you can put them to sleep. They're one. They're the only boss that um, is not immune to sleep. That it, that I know of. Glad to hear that. and activate uh, Margaret's rune. I am going to teleport and go finish up Ronnie's quest line. Which is pretty much just one boss, two if I want to be, um, two if I want to be, uh, um, if I want to uh, fuck around, three if I want to prepare myself for the future. I'll probably do the third one. The third one is going to be a bitch of a fight. It's probably one, it's probably one of the hardest fights in the game to um, it's like right up there with Millennia when it comes to like finesse characters. The the worst fight in the game to me though is the twin gargoyle fight. You know, like when you're in front of the waterfall. Like you can go back. I had a two hour stream of me just fighting them. That is the fight I hate the most. There are so many mechanics in that fight that just cheat. That is without a doubt the biggest cheating fight. Period. Smoke and Ord scene? Yeah. Evil fight. But I would rather I'd rather fight them than the uh, gargoyles. At least now they reprogrammed the AI fights so that they um so that one tries to always stay at range and attack you that way, and then the other one is uh, melee. That way you're not just trying to dodge both in melee at the same time. That's how twin fights are supposed to be. I almost fell. Yeah. Now, Bloodborne, that Bloodborne and Sekiro, that's actually more fitting. Like, you can get away with it in Bloodborne and Sekiro, because both of those, you are meant to be fast-paced and all that good stuff. At least that's what I've read it to be. That's what I read it to be. Like, shortly after um, uh, Elden Ring 1.01, uh, they did it. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Actually, that's something worth looking up. But in Sekido and Bloodborne, you can definitely get away with having uh, two aggressive bosses at the same time because the game is designed around it. Yeah. It's still not an easy fight because one of the gargoyles being at range fights means he's just sitting there shitting out poison the whole time. And not only are you getting poison from the attack, you're also just getting hit by the attack and it does a lot of damage and staggers. Oh, in case y'all didn't know, Miyazaki's already said his favorite biome is going to be in the next, um, in the, in the DLC slash expansion. You know what that means, right? Yay! More poison swamp! I am salty. I don't have my coffee right now. I don't have coffee at all right now. I have to make a fresh pot. Which, after I lose my mind and rip my hair out from this upcoming fight, then I might actually go uh, make a pot of coffee. Yeah, that's what we need. Actually, somebody said a cursed thing and when I made that video on my Coffee Over Gaming channel. They said a cursed thing. It's going to be a scarlet rot swamp that also puts you to sleep. Which narratively actually fits. That's mean it's Mikola and Melenia saying, screw you. So I do have to say this. This is gonna this is gonna catch grief. I hate the poison swamp area. This is the not arguable part. I hate the poison swamp concept. Like where there's poison, you're walking it, you're screwed. But, 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 the areas are so fucking gorgeous in their own way, in their own like like Kaled, oddly beautiful in the most fucked up way. Lake of Rot, Godskin Trio, what? There's a third. 
Still putting their asses to sleep and killing them. Are you trying to give me nightmares? Where did I lose runes? Okay, somewhere to the north of where we're currently at. Where did I lose runes? Oh, right up there when I was fighting the... Uh, okay. Kind of? I am concerned. This is my concerned face. I'm not going to even throw out my Mimic for this, because that's just going to be a waste of uh, health. And I don't think my Blood Flame Blades will do me any good. I'm going to try the Black Flame Blades, because I do have a lot of openings in this one. I hate this fight. There are rumors that he's the original person you'd be fighting in Radon's Arena. I'll read that in a second. Getting his attack patterns. Uh, no, because I was trying not to do the fire, the throwing of magic, only the augmenting magic. But I do like the idea of being a God Slayer, uh, a God Slayer monk. So I might go ahead and pick it up and treat it like it's a Kamehameha. There we go, I actually did it. I thought I was outside of its range. I can't fucking hit his ass. That's one of the big problems with using these weapons is that you will miss all the damn time. Does anybody who's been watching my previous fights know? It went bigger than I thought it would. Diggity. He still grabbed me! That was all shades of bullshit. No, it's a good spell. It's legitimately good. God Slayer magic is insane. We're going to go back to the last site of grace because I'm just going to teleport out. I'm going to go ahead and pick up that spell. You're right. I can do it. Um, and it fits because it's like me doing the Kamehameha. Not a Kamehameha, a Hugin. So it still fits the monk theme that I'm going for. And against creatures like this where it's hard to punch... Deathbird build. I want to, um, so on a character I'm running with, uh, Gothic, my little sister up there, I am playing a, a Spart, uh, a Spartan, uh, Magic Spartan, which translates into me using, um, I don't know how much this is going to give me. Um, that should be enough. Uh, which translates into me using a large shield, and originally I was just using spears. I haven't switched over to using the Deathbird poker. Um, what very well. The heresy is an old thing. Anyway, um... Um... And there was a reason I want, um, mentioning that. Oh, because there's the spear, that, the Deathbird spear that you get much later on is the actual weapon I wanted to use. But we're not near that point yet, so... Alright, I don't need Flame cl Cleanse Me right now. Can I use any of the bigger... Oh, I'm about to pop my knee. I pop my knee. There it goes. Yeah, I can't use any of the cooler spells that I want. Oh, I've beaten this game. I've platinumed it. Hang on, I, just, I felt challenged just now. I've, I've platinumed this game. This is actually my first game I ever platinumed. I've beaten this game so many times. Um, this is the first time I've done a complete punching belt throughout all of it. So you're not ruining anything for me. Anyway, now I have to do the run back down. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, there's a fight I gotta go do. Never mind, hang on. Sorry, derailed. We're gonna go do another fight real fast. Well, first I gotta go talk to somebody, then I'll fight. Yeah, there's the, the spear one is the one I'm after where like you do like it's the spear collar where you like stab it in the air and then a whole bunch of spears rain down. That's the one I want. Um, then there's the Deathbird Poker thing. I forget its name. All right, she should be here. Who I'm looking for? He is not. Why are you not here? All right, let's go check the other location. She should be at. Oh, I think I know why she's not here. Um, I think I, I think punching weapons don't get enough love, and the reason why I wanted to make a punching build specifically in this one is because um, is because if you watch the uh, trailer for the um, for the DLC slash expansion, you actually see somebody doing like kung fu fighting, like you see in Sekudo, and that means if we're getting a new Ash of War slash new weapons that fight like that, I'm very interested. I love punching characters. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Technically, you can kick now, but it's just the uh, the kick emote oh, or the so kick um, so Ash of War. Perhaps. Well, I must. I must. Well, I must. I must. Do another playthrough with that weapon so that you can punch. Uh, you can kick Godric in the face. Because you know, if somebody needs a good kick in the face, it's probably Godric. I found out apparently one of the most powerful weapons is the scythe. Uh, like one of the most damaging weapons is the scythe that you get from the skeletons. Oh, using that new kicking build with um, using the new kicking build with um, I can do this. Using the new kicking build versus Melenia. It's been Scarlet Rose as such. Though rather vet I realized that I could have a Are you giving me this? I, I am in your I think. It might be possible for if the arm um, it might be possible perhaps then. Uh like all the bosses in this game are legitimately awesome. I would love um like because you also would have to use it against uh Horalu um in his wrestling build. Kung Fu Fighter versus Wrestler. Says now because I think she's supposed to say something else, and then we're gonna go deal with the Godskin Noble. No, she's still not wearing it. it might okay, cool. So I gotta meet her at the next location. I right, can take that off now. Um, like all the bosses in this game are legitimate. Oh, that'd be even more scary. Unfortunately, I think the uh, thing, the reward I get from this, or the God Flame, uh, Black Flame, either one. Boss, I'm gonna take them as two separate answers. Lore-wise, Radon. Radon is my favorite boss, period. And the reason why is, we never see Radon at full power. Even in the cinematics, when he's versing Millennia, he's still not at full power. And I've said that so many times in this channel. Like, I can't help but point that out. You never see him at full power. Alright, with that said, design? For this game, I want to specify this game. I like the design of Horolu. Horolu and God, uh, Godfrey and his, uh, before he changes. I like both those. He should be here. Or am I forgetting something? Well, I'm gonna snag this so I don't have to make the run back. I think I have to go talk to um, the guy who set me on that quest to begin with. Because she's supposed to be here-ish.
Technically, I don't need her to be here to advance her quest. I want her there, though. Just like how you saw me summon um, a few of the other characters for certain fights. Because they don't need to be there as long as I do the task required. Oh, no. And actually, it's also a nice touch that when you go when you look at his corpse after his death, he looks like a... Uh, his corpse looks normal. He doesn't look like he's an omen. Yep. In his eyes, everybody betrayed Lindell. Which Ronnie, um, Ronnie and uh, Rickard both did. Radon was doing what he thought was right in that regard. Melenia, yeah, she, her and her brother pretty much just gave up on it. Always had the beast repellent torch. Thank you for giving me. <sighs> Understand? You've been as thank at the last. He's got incantations. Oh shit. Indeed, Millicent. It seems the memory is eaten away by the rock. However, she has no need. No. She must embark on her journey. As I've aged, I've his to be forgotten. So, this is a one thank you. Now, Millicent, like her beautiful mother. Radon, yeah, as I said before, um... The girl green, hang on, I'm just getting through all this conversation so she appears where she needs to. Alright. Yeah, he held back the heavens while fighting Melenia. Then after fighting Melenia, held back the heavens with his mind destroyed and held back how many years of warriors trying to kill him? Where the hell is she? Is she further up? Which actually she's really further up. He's the most powerful gravity magic user. He's descended of, uh, he's related to giants. Which actually makes me instantly think Radon, not Radon, Rodigan, is actually the reason why he's so small when we fight him is because he fused himself to America. Yeah. Legitimately, the only reason he didn't win uh, that war of trying to bring everything together was because of uh, Melenia um, losing her shit effectively. I'm trying to I'm trying to do this not do this without her. Yeah, probably. Um, hell, the only reason um, Millennia is not on our side is because um, people think that the Scarlet Rod has fucked with her mind. Like it's starting. She she thinks we're the ones who took um, more, uh, her brother. So she's like, I would love it if there was an alternate ending that if uh, after if you do the expansion before you fight Melenia, that she you actually don't have to kill her like she, or uh, the fight's different or something I don't know or she or you could just do it like they did with Sif where she just recognizes you. The arm, it might be perhaps then. Okay, I don't know what step I'm missing. I know what's supposed to be done after this, and technically I don't need to do the, uh, this village with her. I just want to. Uh, I might just pull it up and look. Pull it up on my second computer. Because remember, if you do the um, DLC with a Taurus first... Um, um, Sif actually recognizes you. Okay, did the annoy needle, done that. Already got this Valkyrie arm. Okay, so she's actually already up there, okay. She's already up there, okay. All right. Carefully put this here. And I accidentally took several screenshots. Alright, so she's actually, she is up there. You have to, uh, her summon sign. Yeah. There's like a couple people I summon, um, summon their summon signs. Even though I can do the fight without them. Purely because, once again, I like them having them in the fight.
So she's supposed to be right around here-ish. If I see the Godskin Noble, I went too far. Yep, I went too far. Or is it the Stake America at the beginning? So, um, there's a new character uh, called the Impaler. Uh, he's got a full name, but I don't know what it is. I just know he's called the Impaler. Um, everybody's assuming he's relate he's directly related to America and Millennia, that he's their um, third sibling. I think he's actually the um, he's related to Radon. I think he's Rodigan and... Um, Renalia's kid. Alright, let me pull that thing back up again just so I can see why it's not advancing. Okay, hang on. Base of the hill, northwest of the stake of America. Okay, let's try again. messaging me. Oh, no, no one's messaging me. It's just, um, the Helldivers chat, uh, pinged everyone. Alright, let's check again. I might clear the area out just so I can search a little better. Yeah, Mesmar. I don't think it's Mer- uh, unless they've said it already, I don't think that's America's third child. I think it's, uh, Rinalia and Radigan's. Because he doesn't say America, he says mother. So it's never implied directly who he's talking to. All we know for sure is that he is related to um, Rodigan because of the red hair. I'll read fully what you said in a second. Make sure no one's coming after me. Okay. He did say, uh, why would Mother truly Lordship sanction, and we know that Dark Side of the Tree was the losers of the Shattering War on there, and America banished them. Yeah, which means it sounds more like he's tied to Renalia. Alright, looks like I'm going to be fighting the Godskin Noble without her. I don't want to, but I'm going to. Unless she actually is here, you just have to find her. I'm going to keep looking. Because it actually might be in the fight already, where she shows up. Okay, there's the Stake of America, so to the northwest of it. It should be over here. Oh, that's the summon, buddy. Hang on, I'll get to you in a second. you godskin you do bleed oh wrong thing ow don't do that Twice we've done that to each other. Now he's a snake.
Yeah, that I've heard that. I'm, I'm very curious how that's going to turn out. Yay, Godskin Peeler and the Scouring Black Flame. I actually only knew of one of those dropping. I forgot the other one did, because I usually don't do this village. I'm only being thorough because of the DLC coming up. This is not where she would have spawned. We meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is. Oh yeah, I'm, all my original characters got deleted because of a, a glitch that happened in my system. So it whatever. Is to say this to you of all people, thus. I don't think I ever got that high. I would, it is the own. I would have you call it is the own. All right, God Skin Peeler. I'm trying to remember what that does and what it's classified as. I think it's a glaive. Yeah, it's a glaive. Twin blade. And it does the Black Flame Tornado, which is nice. Alright. Now let's go back down to the Abyss. <sighs> I'll soon get one of my punching weapons I want, which is What's-His-Face's leg. Oh no, that's fine. Um, I usually take, like, Jacksepticeye's approach is I choose a specific weapon and probably run with it as long as possible. Um, because that's what he's doing with his, what he did with his Bloodborne run, for instance. Mind you, in Bloodborne, you're, you don't have to switch out your weapons nearly as much, purely because, um, like, all the weapons legitimately in their own way are, are fine enough. He ended up getting the pizza cutter and just running with that. Ow, please don't do that. Yeah, no, that's fine. I get that. I, I'm compelled to fight in many different ways. I need to make a new straight-up magic user, like a straight caster, both faith, preferably both faith and incantation, or both faith and sorcery. And the reason for that is because, like, my first character I played in this game, because I'd never done it before, I haven't used every weapon in this game. I've used every type of weapon, every class of weapon, but that's it. Daggers and punchers are probably the most handicapped in the game. You can't you can't change my mind on it. And it's strictly because of the hitbox issues. Duvia is great though. It's probably one of the one of the cheesiest uh, bleed setups early game until you get the Rivers of Blood. Um, unless you're doing Twin Blades, because um, then Eleanor's is the better. Um, but the problem is one you can only get one Reduvia off the start. But no, if you try to use any actual melee attacks with it, you can legitimately be next to somebody and still miss.
My favorite build, though, to play is the Almighty Bomb build. second. Like, fights like this, I legitimately have to jump, uh, jump to hit him. Yeah, he's gonna start doing meteor now. The meteor is such a random attack, it's hard to predict and avoid. Yeah, I saw that coming. Yeah, Bonk is supreme. I love using the Guts' as great sword too, by the way. That's my preferred Bonk. Like, I do know that, like, there's more powerful Bonk weapons. But there's just something about using Guts' as great sword to murder a thing is therapeutic. Yeah, the Deathbird Spear is insanely powerful. You're right, you just get it unfortunately way too late. Okay, I didn't know where he was, so I just started teleporting away. Shit. As far as I haven't broken his posture yet, to be honest with you. First one registered. He gets to do the attack twice, okay. That's fine, that's okay. Bullshit! Even more bullshit. Well, I'm out of heals. Like, you're wrong. You're not wrong. Like, Faith actually um, is a good secondary to a lot of different builds. And the reason why is because you have, like, Flame Grant Me Strength. You have uh, Sacred Order. Both of those just give you, and especially because they stack, insane damage increases. Hey, that worked. I was wondering if I could dash forward through it instead of having to uh, roll out of the way. There's actually a trick with that, I'll show you in a second.
meteor mode. Okay. He didn't go far enough for it to be for me not to be able to get to him though. Heal now. Don't do the meteor shower again. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I did break his posture that time. All right, punching you in the glowing eye. That didn't do much damage. got me. Muscle memory came back to fighting this asshole. I had to learn his ass when I was fighting him as a sorcerer or a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Because um, all it took was one shot from him and I died. Anyway, let's see. What's this? <laughs> oh, in regards to what you said about using um, about using uh, one knuckle, the one knuckle shuffle, you can technically do this. I'm using two different fists. I can have two different status effects with it. I can have the set, uh, cestuses in one hand and spike cestuses in the other. One's doing bleed, the other's just punching them really hard. I can put fire on this one, um, ice on the other. Take your pick. So in theory, you can do this. And if you don't want to use the spike cestuses, you can also use the heavy ven uh, the venomous fang. Yeah. So you can technically do that. And the reason why I use that as an example is this. Uh, most people don't know this, because I didn't know this. The wielder's arm will take the form of small dragon... Oh, wait, hang on, where's it saying it? Uh, it doesn't list it directly, but you do bonus damage to dragons. Okay, I'm not fat rolling. So yeah, that's something you can legitimately do. And the only reason I'm not advancing right now is because I want to get... Um, um, uh, teach. Back to leveling up Faith some more. I'm trying not to use that one for a reason. And the reason is Gothic. Because I found out you can drop runes, so what I'm probably going to do is jump into her game, just give her that rune and tell her to level the fuck up so she can get to my level. Have I unlocked any new spells I can fuck around with? Because I want to use some of these other spells. Like, I know my character's a caster, like I said, but still, it, you don't want to have these and not be able to use them. The um, closest I'm going to get into is probably the Blessings of the Erd Tree. What about you? No, no, that's the next one. First one is the Frozen Lightning Spirit. That sounds cool. But yeah, that's a concept you can totally run with, is just have two different punchers, and then you press L1 instead of R1. That's the change. The only downside is, when you do your jump hit, you only hit them with one fist. So I'd recommend using your strike one, uh, whichever one has strike damage, in your right hand. I have, in a previous playthrough. That's the one I want for this build. That's the ultimately the one I want for my, um, for these fists. I want the Horolu uh, Stomp. 
because I feel like it's just so fucking appropriate. The only reason I'm using the shadow step is because, well, I'm using the shadow step. Screw you. I don't need more of a reason than that. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Uh, go marry my waifu. So there's the dragon out front. I do want to kill one because it's a dragon. Two because it's XP. And three because I actually do want its incantations. I do want to pick up the dragon incantations. And this one does ice. Definitely gonna have to try and beat the Scarlet Rot one. Good fuck luck on that. Yeah, Dula. I'm not fighting you right now. I, I choose life. I wonder what the lore about this place is. You right. You right. Where the fuck is the entrance? I'm trying to remember where the entrance is. Oh, right there. I almost killed myself jumping off my horse. Millennia, or is it a dragon? My first guess is always going to be Millennia for every one of those time people ask that. Because Millennia is the one that everyone's afraid of. Except for, um, let me solo her. He didn't give a flying fuck. He's actually done a whole run where every character was replaced with Millennia. I'm not joking. You can go to his channel and see it. Dude's legit. She slew her two fingers. Which, hers is different than all the others, actually. Zuli the Witch proved it, that hers is different than everybody else's. <laughs> as long as it wasn't Rodigan and the Elden Beast. If you had to do both, that would have sucked. Um, something I do hope they'd fix is that Holy, um, Holy is completely useless in this game, except for, like, three different bosses. The birds are all take double damage from Holy, and that's about it. I think those who live in death also take it, so, like, the boat people. But, yeah, generally speaking, holy damage is the most resisted damage type in the whole game. Most of the bosses resist it. So there's almost no reason to use it. If you're going for faith incantation, you might as well use, um, lightning. So or fire. So, thee, who would perhaps I needn't have warned. I am pleased, however. I go now to the night sky. I bid thee, and once all is done. I got my wife who? The Dark Moon Great Sword. A moon, a moon great sword um, bestowed by the uh, Karen Queen upon her spouse to honor long-standing traditions. One of the legendary armaments. Uh, Ronnie's sigil is a full moon, and cold and leaden. This sword is but a beam of its light. So basically, this was Rodigan's sword. Renalia gave it to Rodigan, and he cast it aside. And Ronnie picked it up. It's a phenomenal freaking weapon. Like, that's not even a joke. It's probably one of the best weapons in the game. Um, there's, like, a handful of weapons that, like, are great if you're a magic user to randomly use, or if you're just trying to be an arcane uh, arcane melee user. Uh, one of them is the uh, Moonglaive. Because then you're using a katana and doing the anime slash and just sending arcs out. That's fun as hell. It's awesome. And then you've got that weapon. Uh, she was the first way I won, because she's my favorite. Like, Ron Ronnie is waifu. She gives great hugs. All, f all four arms. Best part is, we actually don't know what Ronnie originally looked like. I feel the need to point that out. We do not know what Ronnie originally looked like.
Yeah. And once again, her, her fingers look different than everybody else's. Um, I'll pull up the video. Kazuli the Witch is kind of cool about it. She's cool if people, like, reference her work. Uh, as long as you, like, let them know it's her work. You know? Okay. But I love, I love bringing up Zuli the Witch's content. She just does such good content. Fuck off, spear people. Oh, about her not knowing what she looks like. Okay. Yeah, we just see her burnt up corpse. That's it. That's all we see. We don't know what she normally looked like. We don't know if she had red hair or not. Taking after her dad. Ah, oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Alright, this fight's gonna be a bitch. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mostly because they took after their dad, Rod uh, Rodigan, who is a giant. Who's supposed to be a giant. The only reason he's not a giant is because, once again, he bound himself to America. slashing damage on them. Yeah, that's better. I might have to start doing bleed on them. They are not taking damage. She kind of, like, there's a reason. There's a legitimate reason why he became like that. So, if somebody betrays the fingers, their shadow is supposed to execute them. That's what happens to Blight. He has been being ordered constantly to go kill Ronnie, and he refuses it. He's able to resist it. But when Ronnie ascends and kills his fingers, he just goes ape shit. Uh, no, uh, well, yes and no. Yes and no, he's always had it. Because in the lore, she uh, had given him the rune of death, his giant black-ass sword, for uh, killing people who betrayed him, or who betrayed America, and she cast to die. Not return to the Ur tree, just die. Um, so, when she needed to get... Um, when she said fuck you to uh, Malkath, like when she needed to turn against the fingers and shatter the great rune, she sent him to Faramazul with it and sealed him away, sealed him away there. And he's going ape shit because he can't fulfill that order. He hears the two fingers equivalent in his head. The Elden Beast probably directly saying, fucking kill this bitch. And he can't fulfill it. Yeah, this is before, um, yeah. Um, he didn't get sealed away until after it was, uh, after part of it got stolen, which is turned into the black, black knife. I thought I was out of range for that. Yeah, that's an interesting one right there. Uh, the only thing I don't like about Faez is how she uses people. My, all the characters in this use, use other people all the damn time, so glass house here on this one. Um, I don't like how she uses Rajir specifically. Oh, probably. If not, he might get his own DLC for all the fuck we know, because there's a lot going on with him.
Well, I guess I can't dodge out of that. Well, no, like, it's specifically, like, how she uses Rajir. Yeah, he didn't deserve it. All he did was go see another one of the faces of Godwin. And, oh, guess what? He dies to, He dies due to uh, death. Oh, and his soul is now being used by Fea to defend Godwin. Like, he didn't deserve that. He seemed like he was legitimately a good guy. I feel like I'm making no progress on this thing. Like, I had him halfway the first time. I feel like I'm making no progress. You know what? Let's hit you with the black flame. Let's see what happens. Unfortunately, I have to keep recasting it, so... Shit, I dodged out of that. Port to sex. Not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. It gets even cooler when you see him pull, like, pulled out of the... Um, out of the under uh, underground area. Screwed up too much. Yeah, it is a cool design. The only problem is I feel like I wish there was more of a a distinction between the ancient dragons and the worms. Like, there's like a slight distinction, but it feels like there's not enough. And of course we gotta talk about the granddaddy of all the dragons, not Pulsidex. I'm talking The corpse that's right here. That guy. Like, dude. Could you imagine if they do a dream sequence or whatever where we have to be in that fight? I'm not going to rely on the Black Flame. having to constantly cast it poses its own problems. Find out if you're even susceptible to bleed. powerful. At least I think there's one that was even more powerful. Because you gotta remember, there's a giant ancient dragon corpse at the capital. I think he's the one who's more powerful. Because his, his, um, his time when that one showed up was after Pulsidex. So, those two didn't fight for who's the Elden Lord. Also, Elden Lord doesn't technically mean you're the most powerful.
taking that hit intentionally. Damn it. Lost my flames. doing okay so far. We'll see how this fight makes me go insane. Because the Black Knight's assassins are never easy fights. Lies at the heart of the storm beyond the time is said to have been Eldenor in the age before the Ur Tree. Once he, uh, God was fled, the Lord continued to await his return. Recently started my second playthrough. That's awesome. Here's a description of the bolt and plus I remember it. It's also uh, hard to say. Oh, that that's cool, Adrian. What build? Okay, yeah, y'all going back and forth. Bleed Samurai. That's easy mode. I don't mean to sound like a dick about it, but that is the best way to like play through the game if you're just trying to enjoy the game. You're not trying to like get good. Because bleed is such a powerful thing in this, as I'm even using in this, which I think they're actually immune to bleed, so I'm wasting my time doing that. I need to do something else. Black flame seems like it's my only option. Alright, let's do it this way. But no, the one who attacked the castle is the more powerful dragon, Grasnix. Uh, the Dragon Lord was probably the most powerful in his time because his was before, before the Ur Ur Tree. The Ur Tree had already been established when um, Grassenix attacked. Alright, that wasn't that powerful. difficult only if you're trying to run holy the whole time because everything resists holy a lot so you're not doing as much damage oh wait a minute that's another one i could do i'll have to go back to the last side of grace yeah i i argue that he is the more powerful um uh that paul I, i'm arguing the reason why he's the most powerful is because oh i gotta i came back here for a reason um the reason why I say the um, paladin builds are difficult is because of the fate uh, the uh, holy it makes it really difficult to use. I'm gonna keep that one, but I'm gonna switch to this. Electrify armaments. There we go. I'm guessing sword, shield, heavy armor. Yeah, there's a lot of good holy magic in this game. Hell, this character is faith based, so. Blessings of the Ur Tree is a great one right there. And you literally can't miss that one. Is that company is that is what? That's Walmart Seal 12. I might say fuck it and not, not fight this thing anymore and just come back later. Not gonna stream? That's sad face. 
I want to see how electricity does against this person. You don't feel like it? That's fine. Don't need more of a reason than that. By the way, everybody, that's my little sister. Also a content creator. Okay, they don't seem to like lightning. silly doesn't mean it's not fun. I played Griffith in the first one, my first run. And then I played uh, Guts. That's the best way to describe the two. Yeah, there's no, like, set concrete on which is which. It's all opinion. It's all opinion between these two, and I argue in my opinion um, Paul Sedex is weaker. Actually, you know what? I have proof that Paul, T Paul Sedex is more powerful. I just realized the ultimate proof. Paul Sedex is alive. <laughs> a corpse is not dangerous. Well, wait, no, this is the lands between. Corpses can be very dangerous. <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna try one more time uh, with the lightning and see how that works out, and then I might say screw it. chance one of the most interesting builds it's not necessarily the most powerful except for in pvp it's insanely dangerous is dual whips I do it as a grease. I'll go ahead and let her kill me. Oh, it's only weak. They're only weak to frost? Oh, thank you for letting me know. Alright, I'll do that. I think I actually have some of the grease. Let's check that out. Unfortunately, I don't have any weapons I can turn into. Good, but then it would make it intelligence based. But I do have Horfrost Stomp. I think I have Horfrost Stomp. I do not. Do I have the ability to make it? Like, I have the knowledge, not necessarily the resources. I do. So what I need is Rhyme Crystal Bud, found in cold regions. Alright, let's see here. Uh, there's a lot of weapons that do naturally really good frost, and then there's also just Hoarfrost Stomp. That's just insanely good in its own right. But there is a Ash of War. I'm gonna I ha I'm gonna look up real fast. I don't have it, but it would be great for this one though. Yes, there isn't one. I thought there was. There's Horfrost Stomp. You know what? Let's do it that way. Hang on. I know y'all can't see what I'm looking at, uh, but screw you. Oh, there it is. Chilling Mist. That's the one I'm looking for. And I can't put it on whips, fists, and claws. So the one I wanted to use is pointless. Great. Awesome. Uh, hang on, let me see what uh, Helldivers is saying. Did they fix something? Okay, so they're having a lot of issues right now with their servers. Okay, that's what's going on with that. Alright. 
Alright, let's see what y'all been saying. <laughs> Has anybody wa been watching um, The Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic? Has anybody been watching The Wrong Way to Use Healing Magic? And Mashal's another good one, but specifically that one's what I'm talking about. Because that's really good. We're going to talk anime, though. I've got to bring that one. I hope you enjoy it. I, I really, really enjoy that one. Alright, I think I'll just go ahead and switch. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and put Horfrost Stomp on it. It'll nerf me when it comes to uh, raw damage. Then I won't be able to use my dash anymore. But it's fine, I can work with it. Uh, the three animes I'm actively watching, uh, which I've just caught up to, um, um, I've watched, I've watched a bit of that, but that's been annoying me a little bit, not gonna lie. Uh, Hell's Paradise is another interesting one. Oh, that's fine. No, it's better than Sword Art. That's You're going to have to raise that bar a little bit. I still think um, I don't want to get hurt, so I'll raise my defenses better. Uh, Bafui, or however the fuck you say it. I think that one's better than both. Just because Maple is so much more funny. Whereas the other guy's just loud and annoying a lot of the time. Let's see how this does. Oh yeah! I forgot. I don't have the uh, dash anymore. Heal! I got lucky with that, but you know what? It's too late now. Like. Okay, so my problem. Here's my problem with SAO. It's called Sword Art Online. Okay. How much of the anime actually takes place in Sword Art? Like, seriously. Like, the first half of the first season does, and, like, they gloss over so many details about that world they could have had fun with, but they didn't. And the second season, it's Alfheim they're in. Third se- I'm um, sorry, second half of the first season. Second season starts with Gun Gale, which is actually a really cool concept. Oh, not gonna fucking do jack shit with that. And then the uh, end of the second season, they're back in a version of Sword Art Online. So, like, it just completely burnt me out. Anyway, now that I remember that I don't have my dash ability, is now I have to wait for that to cool off. I 
can't get out of that. Without my dash, I can't roll out of it. Run from it. Which I don't like that as an answer. Right in the baby maker. In case anyone doesn't know, the um, Black Knife assassins are all female. survive through that, but okay. I'm not gonna live, though. Stand him up, wouldn't let me fucking run. Hang on, what am I missing? That's another one I'll keep an eye out for. Um, so I was a big fan of Jujutsu Kaisen, and I still, up to a certain point, I still am. But the latest parts, I'm gonna keep going because I actually did really good with the ice. I just got done with a couple of my fight, a couple parts. Um. What killed me for with Jujutsu Kaisen is, like, this latest chapter, like, the ending that's going on. And I feel My Hair Academia is doing the same thing, where it feels like... you Did you forget what you were doing? Damn it. That was not a good trade. record, I'm not talking about what happened in the anime. The anime is doing phenomenal. The voice actors are killing it. The um, animation is killing it. And it's added a part of the arc that is not pissing me off. It's what it's the current final arc that they're doing that's pissing me off. Which I can't tell you without spoilers. I'm sitting there spamming roll, and my character's like, ah, da, 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 da. let's get hit by the death plague! I can get them. I can get them now that I'm doing frost. It's just pissing me off that I'm like trying I'm trying to spam roll, and it's like, no, you, you have Stanima. You're not allowed to roll. Can I roll now? Can I roll now? Can I roll now? Okay.
Got you, bitch. for you to chill out. Or heat up, I should say. Come on! Come to me! chat once I die or this fight's over. Bullshit! That's new! I'm dead. Uh, my Wonders Flask, I don't think will help. It'll help me with Stanima, but I'm not burning through my Stanima that fast. I'm only really just jumping and hitting her, um, so that won't help. Um, I figure with the other thing, I think it's just a bonus to Strength, which I'm at a high enough point that that's not that big of a deal. I don't think I have anything that would help with that fight. Um, we're going to come back to this. I'm, I'm, I'm bashing my own head in. I'm not going to... I'll come back to it. I'll even do it off stream. I don't care. We're going to progress. We're going to do this thing called progress. And by that, I mean I'm going to go beat up this uh, dragon right here. Or try to. I'm going to give it one good try. I'm just changing back my Ashen War. Have I watched Eurovision? Not sure what you're talking about on that one. Hey, Drugen. Bear witness to me! That's the first time I... Yeah, I'm from USA. Um, for Portland, Oregon. Uh, that's where I currently live. Let me phrase it that way. Because I know what Eurovision is. I know what you're... Like, I know the concept of Eurovision is, um... Like a broadcasting kind of thing, so... That's all I know about it. When I see it's doing its breath attack, I need to switch back to dual handing. Put it right up the pooper. Put it right up the pooper.
hate how it made me just casually dismount instead of jumping off like I'm supposed to. But okay. That hit me. That was cool. Not gonna lie, that was cool. For the record, I killed your mom. Hope that makes you not hate me more. I shouldn't have done it the second time. That was me getting greedy. festival in Europe where every country sends a singer to make a song. The jury every year rigs the game, but it's very entertaining. Last year, Finland won the hearts of the people, but the official jury voted more points for country Sweden that has already won with that same singer. Just because she was more technically better doesn't make the song better. It's appeared because from Finland they didn't win. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Makes sense. I'm the yapping master. <laughs> I am going to go swing by the Cathedral of Dragons. Ow, I popped my knee. I did level. Or I have enough to level. Several times, actually. Ooh, so close to getting to be able to cast that one one I want to do. Actually, I need to find out what that one does. If that's worth me uh, eating or just cast or using. <sighs> so close. You know what? We're going to go to the uh, round table hole first. Oh, I'm obligated to say, if you have not already, please like, subscribe, and share. You know, all the things I'm supposed to say as a content creator. Well, I took you from that man to lay out your own. find out what that one's worth like if it's got anything i don't think it has anything one because i think one's a spell i'm honestly not a musically inclined person which is funny because i grew up doing band and shit like that um like i don't i don't really care to listen to music too often okay yeah so this ash of war might be worth it i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the ash of no never mind <laughs> Incidentally, that's the instrument I used to play when I was in the uh, band. I used to play saxophone. I played the alto, tenor, and berry, which is pretty much the same. Like, I do listen to music when I'm going for my walks, but I might as well just listen to podcasts or the news. It doesn't matter to me. And if you gave me a saxophone right now, I could play it. It is not a bad ash of war. I just, I'm not using that type of weapon, so it doesn't matter to me. Now use one of my new ones. Let's get rid of the lightning and do frozen lightning spear. I need to start raising my mind though. Wait, do I have an empty slot? No, I don't. I have this. Okay. The lightning. All right, let's go to the cathedral of the dragons. I want to see what they have because I forget. I think you just learned a new ice breath attack from her. From her uh, heart. Yeah, it's right here. I don't have the arcane to use it, but the one I really want is the alternate version of this one, because who doesn't want uh, Super Scarlet Rod? 
Speaking of which, let's go ahead and beat her up before I continue. Because she should be a bit easier. Will you stop hitting me? I'm trying to kill you. Yeah, she also gives you the sword uh, from just beating her, but, um... That was a good chunk of damage off the start. Fire purifies all! I still have Flame Cleanse Me in my inventory, which will get rid of that. I know I'm cheating by just spamming this, but this is my anti-dragon countermeasure. In a Dark Souls game, there is no, or sorry, in a Souls-like game from software game, there is no cheating. There is cheesing, but there is no cheating. If you beat it, you win. That's the end of the story. You don't need to beat your head into the wall just to go, oh, I beat them with a spoon. Let me go ahead and pick up the other ones while I'm at it. Only the level 2 variants. And we'll go ahead and pick up Grey Roll. My character now has Dragon Eyes. Welcome back, Trickster. I should probably go ahead and start raising my Archon. Like, they, they only view cheating as if it's uh, if it affects... I'm going to go ahead and start raising my Archon so I can start using Dragon abilities. Uh, if it affects PvP. That's the only time they're like, okay, that's cheating, stop doing it. That's literally the only time I feel like they actually care. There's also a Knight's Calvary that shows up here. That's right. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually fought him. I just ran past him every time. I need to. It's only cheating if you set your, impose your own set of rules and then start breaking them, like saying, I'm only going to use a giant ass sword, and then you don't. I feel that's the only time you're truly cheating is if you set up rules and then you break your own rules. Time for a boss fight that I am not gonna do. Not right now, because I hate the Black Blades. There is something I want to go get, and it's going to be a jumping puzzle, so I don't want to do it right now now. Um, here. 
Okay, so yeah, so he is right on the other side. That in a second. Uh, I want to go get the fingerprint shield, because that is an insanely powerful shield. Something that bothers me about the great runes is they don't carry over between runs. So some of the runes are pointless because you get them so late they don't do you any good. Like Millennia's being an example. Technically you can get Bogues pretty damn early if you want. And we'll be fighting Rickard before too long, by the way. Hell, I could actually swap over to a dual... Great sword build, now that I'm thinking of it, because I'm almost to that point. I've got one of the swords I'd want to use, and I'm about to get the other, in the form of Rickard. not based well Mo Moog's is not that great but you can get it really early if you know how you how to do it I can go fight Moog right now it's because I know where to go I know what to do the only reason I don't want to is because I don't want to millennia's is basically useless because you have to be at the end of the game Rickard can technically be the first one you get if you know how to do it So the trick is, if you're uh, like you can't do it for the uh, for like new game, you're not gonna be able to do it. New game plus, you can do it. You can reasonably do it. Like it's a really good ability. It basically turns this game into Bloodborne. Let's go over here. It basically turns the game into Bloodborne. I want to play Bloodborne again. I've been watching. Um, I might, I might have to stream me playing that again. But uh, I was watching um, Jacksepticeye do uh, his like three hour, six hour playthrough of it. And it makes me want to play it again. That is such a great game. I love it so much. And it's hard, like, don't ask me what my favorite FromSoft game is. Because I actually might say Armored Core instead. But if you're talking about just their Souls-like, oh my god. Just like, all of them have just this thing about them. I thought that's what the shadow rune did, and that's when you use the rune and you're called in. I hate this part right here. Yeah. Dark Souls 3 is amazing, especially with, like, the way they... The way they handled, um, paying proper respects to the previous games. Uh, and the way they ended it. Hell, like, the story, the end of patches in that story is great, too. They established that patches does live till the end of time. so awesome that they gave that much respect to Patches that he lives until the end of time. I'll probably need that soon. Especially if I switch over to the dual greatsword build for the rest of this just because I, I got two swords I want to use. Yeah, go for it. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Lord of Embers? Lord of Cinders? I get that. Yeah, and including, um, and his initial form is uh, basically him being um, Gwen. To think 
Sweet. What could your bow call upon me again? And you can't tell me that I'm the gall fight is not legitimately awesome. Arguably, Gull is the last boss of uh, Dark Souls 3. Arguably. Technically, he's not, but arguably he is. Oh, since we said the name Gull, I have to bring this up. Did you play, um, did you play Destiny 2 on release? Like, during the Red War, specifically? I remember the trailers, the original trailers for it, where... Um, I'm curious by what you mean by that, but I'll worry about that later. Where, um... Where, um... Where the, the Guardians are trying to, like, uh, cheer up, or, like, spur on the other Guardians, and you had uh, Zavala, made the act voice actor rest in peace, um, like, doing his heroic speech. Oh, okay. He's doing this heroic speech, and it's being coincided with Cade 6 doing his... And he goes, we know the enemy's names. Gary? Uh, um, and like, he can't figure it out. He's like, Gary? No. Jerry? No. And um, and then he's like, Gaul. He's like, yeah, that name. This is so freaking hilarious. Like, I'd play it, but I'd get hit by copyright. Because I'd get it. Or I'd get, uh, not a takedown notice. I'd get uh, demonetized from it. Because I get that all the time. If I show a game trailer, I get demonetized. Even though it's fucking fair use. The only one who has never hit me for it has actually been from software. I'm not jaded. Okay. Actually, the company that pisses me off right now is Jujutsu Kaisen. I actually straight up got a copyright strike on my Coffee Over Gaming channel because I was covering um, what was going on in the manga, and I got a copyright strike from it. So it, it upset me. Yeah, no, you're right. You're fair. I was in the Navy when uh, number when uh, Dark Destiny One dropped. Hey, you now have an idea of how old I am. I'm old. Hey, here's me ignoring you. I actually don't know where the... I just wanted to kill that. I don't know where the person suddenly those are. I've never bothered looking. Alright, where I need to be is right over there. We can agree to disagree. You know what scares me? You know what legitimately scares me? And I don't think there's any FromSoft fan who will disagree with me on this statement. Well, this bird scares me for one, but we're not going to fight it right now. This one is the hardest one to fight out of all of them. Where is he? I can't pull up my map to even look. Oh, he's this way. Yeah, there he is. right past this? I can't even check because I'm still under attack. That music though. Oh yeah. So here's what here's what scares me in a weird way. Um, I'm just going to run away so I can box away. Hopefully I'm in the right spot. There it goes. Um, I am. Okay. So you can't argue with me on this. That I agree with. Uh, burger! Burger! Do I gotta go back up there and kill him so you'll leave me the fuck alone? One of you are about to get back up. None of you? Interesting. Alright, anyway. So FromSoft, it's one of the greatest things about FromSoft is that they learn from every one of their games. They legitimately learn. 
They take what they've applied in the... Alright, I guess I'm finding that damn bird. I can't even get back up to him. I have to run all the way back around. Alright. Oh, nice. Anyway. FromSoft learns from all their games. They apply what they've learned from the previous game and apply it to the next game. You can see an early incarnation of the Ash of War system in um, Dark Souls 3, with the, each weapon having its own special ability. Even the Knight's Calvary was actually previously seen in Dark Souls 2. So here's the thing that scares me. What is their next game going to be like? Their next Souls-like game going to be like? Because Armored Core doesn't count. Armored Core is its own thing, which I fucking loved, by the way. So what is their next game going to be like? I know what I need to do. Because I could have just saved and quit out and go back in. What is their next game going to be like? Bastard almost killed him. I don't think they would. I don't think they would. The only reason they made a Dark Souls 3 because they didn't actually make Dark Souls 2. Uh, they took it over for the DLCs because they were pissed about how it turned out. Is to as kind of like an apology letter for how the uh, Dark Souls Two was made. All right, where the fuck is the uh, invasion sign I'm looking for? Where is it? Oh, it's more over here. Oh, I see it. I see it. Unfortunately, I'm not set up for NPC fight. Uh, normally, I, I use insanity magic in NPC fights. I should be fine for this guy. Alright, I'm just gonna punch you a lot, if that's okay. I want your armor, though. gonna get me. There's nothing I can do about that. Although I think he um, started playing a more direct factor when it came to the DLC. Because he um, he got pissed off with like how they handled it. And he's like, you know what? Mine now. I think that's what happened. I could be wrong.
to invade again. I did like it for one reason. One, fighting a giant is really difficult to get right. Um, but since it's the final fight you have with uh, what's his face. remember like he um he goes out he's like i'm just going to take a nap and then dies or returns to being dead i should say all right now that i've done that let's go ahead and go do this part She gives me something I want. I'm not going to go fight... R well, I'm going to go fight Rickard now. I'm going to go fight Rickard now. Well, now-ish. I see this is your... Perhaps our lord... I see, but do not to follow them in order to take a true... I just want to put this in place. Nine percent of Elden Ring players, players when finding that armor use it almost immediately in their first playthrough. I like this one. Or are you talking about Hoslos? Because Hoslos is cool. I can understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. You don't have to apologize for putting it wrong or spelling it wrong. I, I, as long as I understand, you're fine. Don't don't worry about it. The fact that you're able to talk at all in another language is beyond amazing. Pick these all up before I forget wow. to. And I'm guessing, yeah, he's still here. I killed your brother. Hope you don't mind. Ah, I'm terribly sorry. I haven't achieved even though I've done still yet. Perhaps I am of no. What an easy mark. How did it take? There's just no. Uh, no, what an easy mark. All right, I you killed your brother. Hey, you ama it's amazing. Like, I only speak English and bad English and sailor technically, which is just a lot of cussing. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go teleport to the boss. Won't you consider our lord? Yes, uh, but I can't obviously do the fight immediately because I need yeah. to upgrade the spear. Close your eye, I will trans- Farewell, then. Yeah, it should have been the first sign Maybe something's wrong. Be no, like, don't ever apologize for your English not being perfect. Don't apologize for it. The only thing I might do is ask you to, um... Uh, to re-explain what you're saying. Because if I don't understand what you're saying, then I just need- I just, for context, I need to understand it. The worst you might do is have me, like, read it out loud so I understand it. Unfortunately, that Spear Hunter, Serpent Hunter, is such a cool-looking blade, but it's... It used to be the primary... It used to be broken and making it insanely powerful. It used to be able to turn it into a machine gun. It's not anymore, so... Well, I took you no matter to lay out your arms. Let me go ahead and equip it. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna take everything off. Since that fight is pretty much just you um, hitting them with the serpent uh, serpent weapon. Back already, no matter. Okay, I need a three. I 
Okay. I applaud you. Uh, that's amazing. So I'm guessing you're in Finland is my big guess. No, but I applaud you. That's amazing. Don't let anyone ever talk down to you for not being perfect. Yeah, I heard that Mickey and uh, I heard that Mickey's divorcing Minnie. They were talking to the uh, uh, divorce lawyer, and uh, the divorce lawyer turns to him and says, "You know, I can't believe that uh, you're um, you're divorcing Minnie for being a little uh, for acting a little goofy." And she said, um, "No, I said she was fucking goofy." I, I butchered that one, but that's roughly the joke. I know the joke. All right, let's see if um, EG has um, a three before I lose my mind looking. Oh, that's awesome! Ah. All day, have you heard? Along the dark yeah, you know, for acting a little silly. So no, she was fucking goofy. Only... Oh, I need this. Shit, I need that. I need that for this fight. Oh, it is a good joke. I butchered it to Helen back, but you know, it's a good joke. Now, I don't know if this weapon's gonna be very good for me doing this, but I just need I just need some basic runes. Stab! National killed Mogdeg. Goofy broke the bro code. Yeah, not wrong. Hey, Minnie may have thought they had an open relationship, so it might be on his fault. Wait, did that one have glowing eyes? We'll just switch over to the bow and get that. Yeah, when you turn it into a machine gun back in the day. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, no, it was insane. I gotta go back up to EG. Thankfully, he can uh, also upgrade shit. I wish it, I kind of wish it was still in, and that used to be the primary way you would do the speed run uh, for um, uh, for a lot. Uh, but this is still this was until recently. The weapon you'd use in the uh, glitch list category, too. There, that should be powered up enough. Yeah, no, um, any percent? Yeah, any percent didn't care. They could do whatever they want. You didn't actually fight anything in the enemy percent. You just teleported a lot. And then um, have things despawn and kill themselves. That's all you did. Alright, this should be powerful enough. Oh, let me do this. to do something. I don't need this because it's a boss fight, so I'm going to put this on.
should I dodge that? Yeah, any percent is like less than five minutes right now, and that's um, and that's insane. Uh, I dicked around with doing the speed runs, and I was doing the glitchless category. I can get to the first uh, first part, like the first setup to it. But that's it. Letting my Ash of War try to fight. He's not targeting me. Yeah, I believe the current one is you get the blood flame. Um, sorry, the order in which you do it is you get the Dectus medallions, you go to the Dragon Knight that's near the capital, uh, cheese him off a cliff, then use that to level up a shit ton, go get um, the blood fang blade, um, and that's the weapon you're using. I think the current uh, glitchless pe category is under two hours. As much as I wanted to sit through that, I didn't want to sit through it. I don't know what my Ash of War is currently, or the, uh, my Ghost is currently doing. That is crazy. That's insane. Yeah, and those are like I don't like the any percent glitch list because they are like you you have to know what they're doing, otherwise you just like he did things. Yeah, I'm gonna keep leveling up faith a bit longer. Alright, cool. I don't need this anymore. What I do need is this though. That's what I was wanting. This is what is going to make me flip. I'll just go ahead and flip over to the dual greatsword build for a little bit. Just because I want to. It's because of uh, this weapon. I'm assuming I can actually use it. I'm assuming I can. Because I think that's faith and strength. This one and this one. I need to power them up, of course. But the reason why you'd use both those is one gives you health. The other gives you FP. So as I'm killing shit... I'm getting all my shit back, no problem. 
Eh, I might not do that. As much as I want to, I might not. Anyway, let's put my punchers back on properly. It is. We're gonna go see if I can get the other punching weapon that I want. Um, Any weapon in theory in this game could be good. Um, you just have to know how to apply it. I still want to eventually do it. Uh, if I did, it would be a charity stream. But a Dark Soul 3 run um, with the Broken Sword. Broken Hilt Sword. And I'd probably be using Faith-based build uh, to power up the weapon. So that I could actually feasibly do it. again. I'm not dealing with you. I want you dead. I'll come back and get get the weapon from you, but right now I'm running. Oh yeah, that is a good one. Hey, don't forget to subscribe so you know the next time I go live. I appreciate you being here. talk to. I just went the wrong way, but that's fine. I don't even know what the nascent butterflies are for. Oh yeah, should put this back on since I'm not using my special. I'm not using that build anymore. I wouldn't have had to drink anything if I had had that on. I would have been getting health every time I killed. Always, um, uh, yep. A wee moe, a wee moe, a wee In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. I'm still just gonna blitz through because there's just too many annoying things here. get to the boss that I'm wanting to get his leg for and then I might uh, end the stream there because I've been streaming for a good almost three hours and I'm starting to overheat because my apartment is really hot.
Eclipse Shuttle. I did that just to reset them. I don't know what that's going to do to the uh, elevator. Okay, it sent it down. That's good. Alright, so I need to summon my, um, my mimic in this. This fight, more or less, is why I wanted to have Teach. That and, um... Millennia. Well, smart, I'd go out of my way to go power up my, um ghost now because I I should be able to I should be able to get them to near maxed out Stuck in his buzzsaw so many times. I don't know how I lived. I can beat him though. I was just checking, I got a message. Alright, catch you later, trickster.
once I beat him, I'll have the um, hunter that I want to replace the poison blades with. Assuming it has the attributes I want, because there's a chance it's do it doesn't. I'd love to use the um, coat. I saw that coming. I just lost like 20,000 runes, which is fine. I can get them back pretty quickly. Yeah, there's the uh, pun a set of punches you can get pretty early called the coated something. I can't remember what it is, and it's a really cool looking weapon. It's basically like just like floating script over your hand. Uh, the problem is though, it does holy, meaning it doesn't do you any good. Like everything's resistant to it. The only reason I would power it up is literally for the death burst. It's actually not a bad idea now that I think of it. again because the only reason I fled up so bad was because I fled up so bad. something, don't just walk towards me, because I can only punish you.
I killed your brother, by the way. I hope you know that, Commander Neil. Getting vaguely annoying. I got mentioned in a comment and I'm concerned. I was just checking what somebody said about me. Always concerned with people saying that to me. Um, come, Mr. Tallyman, Tally me banana. Let's go to the um, round table hold real fast. Just to see if I have the resources to upgrade my Mimic. So my Mimic's dying way too quickly. you I do not have the Ghost Glove 5. Where the fuck would I find one? Let me, let me look real fast. Hang on, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look that up. Where would I get the um, bell for it then? Okay. Alright, I know where I need to go. Not that one. Not that one. This one. I think I grabbed what was in here already. Yeah, I did. Okay, so it's not here. Now, let's look where it said again. Found a chest guard by several, in the co small co corner of the room. Okay, so it's actually yeah, it's in it's in there, isn't it? Says it, it was said it was a right about here. Or 
or is it in like over here? Yeah, it has to be in this chest. Nope, that's just the Summer Smithing Stone 7. Go up a floor. And then here. I think I opened this area up already. Yeah, I did. Floor up. Let me look again. What are you? Larval tier, and you're over here. Yeah, I found a chest in the corner of a small room. The room's not small, but. Wait, is that a chest? Something I can break, but it's not a real chest. Right, let me go back down to the room down below. See if it's just tucked away in that room, or it might be even a floor further down. Yeah, but the Frozen Lightning ability is very nice. I just need to get more Mind, because I cast it like twice and it's gone. Okay, it's not in here. Okay, it's uh, on the bottom floor. Let's check in here again. I already killed everything in here, so I don't have to worry about it. Wait, is that it right there? No, it's something I already opened. Or did I get it and I just don't realize it? I may have gotten it. Let's check all the way down here. What's this room right here? This may be it. Yeah, this is it. This is a chest. It's rather chesty, too. Nope. Alright. Well, fuck me jogging. Man. Yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to find a bell bearing, and it's being a dick. I can't find it. He's still in there, even though I killed him. Oh, I did get it. I'm an idiot. I had already gotten it, so now I can upgrade my Mimic two levels. At least. Might be able to do more. I don't know. <sighs> Might have to go get some runes. Yep, I have to go get some runes. I want to go fight uh, Moog. I'm going to do Moog before I do the Fire Giant, purely because um, there's a person I can summon in for that fight that I can't do it if I have already... Burnt the tree. Actually, might be useful for later, but not right now. Should be enough for the upgrade. Uh, 
Prieta, are you here for Oh, let me go down and talk to her, because I can probably finish out her quest line. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. What? I got the thing that was needed. Oh, well, I'll worry about that later. All right, let's get a little bit more then. Oh. If I can do it one more, I'll actually be surprised. Yeah, that's what I thought. I had. Didn't figure I'd found an A. Alright. Now, time for me to go fight that guy again. This time, with Gusto! Also, my Mimic tier not being total shit. He's been upgraded quite a bit. stream after I beat that guy. And I think me um, having the powered up Ash of War, not Ash of War, mi uh, Mimic will make a huge difference. Having Teach would be even better, but that's a bitch of a fight. My mimic tier didn't insta die, so that's good. That's an improvement. Unfortunately, I have no more rune arcs, so I can't use the rune arcs, which sucks for me. Oh, let me change some things. I could probably change up my uh, mixed. Uh, mixed. My wonder is physical. Yeah, no, I got that. I need to go get more. Remember to send this down each time. Oh, now that I've done Ronnie's quest, I could actually go get the lights. Now that I think of it. Not worried about it, but I could. Here's just getting 
Sitting there, spam, jump back. I'll read what you said in a second. that successfully. Should I have Birds of the Galaxy on Switch on Cloud? No, I hadn't seen that, but I do got I got it from free on Epic, which is cool. Up to me to save the universe, we're screwed. Have you seen the show Masters of the Air? It's a great No, I hadn't seen it. If my mimic hadn't been dumb, I would have probably would have done more better. there. I, I just gotta beat this one guy. And I think I forgot to send it down again. Yeah, I forgot to send it down again. I even said I need to send it down. Guess what I did do? Send it down.
Oh, why am I still using that? That's doing me no good. Damn thing. That was my own damn fault. Good news is my uh, mimic tier was able to kill that guy, so hey, I got avenged. I don't like it that the enemy gets to also summon Ash of Wars, and they're actually powerful. I think I also forgot to send out the, uh, yep, did it again. I did it again, 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 again, again. Not wrong. I'd take millennia out for dinner. Well, we all know Ronnie's my real wife. still has about over half health. Now it's just more just me not dying. They're attacking the wrong thing. There, he's dead. Now it's the, uh, me and the uh, big one. Reapplying my uh, blood flame. a lot now. What? I rolled! Am I not allowed to do anything? Bullshit. That has infinite range, it feels like. Oh yeah, I had all my blood. I'm fucking spamming my dodge my um Bloodhound step. Don't let me fucking do it. Don't let me fucking do it. Game dodge is too unfair.
He has so many attacks where he just attacks everywhere at once. Like that. You can't dodge that. Well, you can. But I was able to start dancing with him, so that's something. And I... Oh, no, I did remember to send the elevator down this time. I remember. I got the big brain. Not the small brain. I got the big brain. I can switch out that with. Oh, I appreciate that. I just now saw the message. I appreciate that. Technically, that gets rid of the frost, which will help, but that's only when I'm already frozen. Alright, I got nothing. this time. Got it. Once again, just a bullshit attack that you can't really dodge. The annoying part is his attacks are really televised. hate it when they're already in the middle of an attack when you are when you go in like they're like oh i see you going in let's um let's interrupt that I'm sitting there spamming my Bloodhound Step. I guess I'm not allowed to do Bloodhound Step anymore. I'm dead on my next hit. Which, he cheated. 
He stabs forward. Then no, 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 I'm gonna stab up. I'm actually very annoyed by that. I'm very annoyed by that. I'm gonna try and alter my attacks a little bit. I have an idea. I'm not gonna tell you it's a good idea, but it's an idea. Probably switch this out to this. You'll see why. And I forgot to send the elevator back down. Stop attacking for like half a second. What am I hitting him with? There we go. I'm just getting gang banged by those two, and I can't do anything about it. Both double team my Ash of War, so he can't do jack shit. He might as well not exist. Oh, let me change something. I actually have an idea of what I need to change, and it'll actually help me out. You'll see why I'm doing it this way.
I had him. I had him. I legitimately had him. Okay, I figured out what I was doing. I figured out what I was doing. I figured out what I was doing. Basically, instead of just doing the rapid punches, I was doing uh, charged attacks. never been a thing. One of the other things you may have noticed is my wondrous physics. Um, it healed my health. Uh, that way when I summon, I immediately get it back. Plus I get a bonus to my charge attacks. Now it would be smart if I waited, um, and in fact I might do that. Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. Uh, basically the translation is I'm changing over from um, using the wondrous physics for my first heal to my second, possibly third, depending on uh, which order I need it in. And the reason for that is um, I want the Wonders Physic in effect when I get into the final round. that button does? Bloodhound step. You know what should have happened? Bloodhound step. You know what that means? He shouldn't have hit me. The idea is I'm going to try and stagger him as much as possible like that. Um, and Because when he's staggered, I don't need to do an execution, which I keep doing by accident. I can just start wailing on him to uh, put bleed back on him and hopefully proc bleed again. That's the goal.
is buying me time. And has done the same amount of damage, but it's because they're using Black Flame. Not what I meant to do! There we go. If I died just then, I would have been really upsetting Big Eddie. No? Okay. I'm fucking spamming! Backstep! And it's like, no! Fuck you! You're not allowed to use your own fucking abilities to do the fucking thing you fucking put them on! Am I pissed? Yes! Setting down the elevator this time. I was fucked from the beginning, because for some reason I couldn't do damn, sh damn shit. I'm not even cursing good anymore. I do have something I want to try. I don't know if I have the material for it. Do I have one? It's not a pure item. So there's an item called a bewitching stick. you to take control or make it into an ally somebody else is um, an enemy and in theory because it does work on spirit ashes I could do it to one of his henchmen and have my ash of war so that becomes instead of a three on two it becomes a, a two on three instead of a two on three it becomes a three on two after this attempt I will I will see about getting up a witching stick to see if I can do that I think there is one back at uh, what you thought place Didn't even do a damn thing to them. Got it.
meant to cast. Although I'm gonna do it now. I didn't have any magic, so I couldn't do it anyway. Alright, we're gonna go get a little witch instead. Because that was just goddamn bullshit the whole way through. Like, immediately I was trapped in an undodgeable attack where I'm stuck in it. Or non-escapable. We're gonna go find, find a bewitching stick. I think there's a couple for sale um, at the round table hold. No, I was wrong. There is not one here. Anybody I have looted before have you? I know at least one of the merchants I've dealt with has one, so I'll have to bounce around a little bit. But I'm going to need runes no matter what, so let's go ahead and just get a little bit of runes, and then we'll go get a bit of a Witching Stick. Because if I can take over the Dual Wielder guy, make him an ally, then I have a lot less of a headache. I don't know how long it lasts for, but even if it lasts for just a couple seconds, it's... Worth it. Come on, come get me. Really, the only reason I'm going this far because I didn't need that much is him. Take advantage of the glowing eye one when I can. Alright. Let's see here. Um, wanna see? He might be the one with the bewitching stick. There's like three candidates that might have it. I just need one because if I can get... I think if I go into the fight with just one, I should be fine. But if he's got more, I'll buy more. Back on usually this. No, he doesn't. Oh, safe. Well, fuck off. I don't care about you. There are people who have said that the uh, best um, course of action is to kill all the uh, merchants, which I really don't like the idea of doing, and taking their Back bell bearings to the uh, merchant. You have three. Oh, that's a sacrificial twig. Fuck you, that's not what I wanted. I should kill you for misleading me. Alright, where the fuck is a bewitching stick? Let's look at that. I really have to pee. There it is. Bewitching branch, okay. Oh! Okay then, I can get it from Fervor's cookbook, which means I... Theory? Okay. 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 I got it. I got it. Because apparently, I know how to make it. Or I don't know how to make it. Oh no, I need to go talk to Gideon. Right, let's go talk to Gideon. I don't know if I have the material for it, so I might have to go get the material! Which, if I can make them, that actually makes it a world better. Ah, <laughs> uh, indeed. So I had honestly determined to... I suspect a dose of... Oh, so that's a fitting at him stay. But if what I've heard... Ah, information... You... And it is a... You are a true... Alright, there we go. It's not a good idea to talk to him, or like give him information, because he gets more dangerous in his actual fight. This is the exception I'm making. Okay, I thought I I thought I got it from this. I thought Oh there it is. It's right there. Bewitching Ranch. I need Mikola's Lily. Alright, where's fucking Mikola's Lily? place you can farm okay hilga tree all right so the best bet would be the i know where i know where that is okay there's five of them i can go get
But if if the uh, this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop for the day. I got like one or two more attempts in me because one I really have to be two. I've been doing this for over three hours, almost four actually. And this guy's been the one that's been holding me up this whole time. Well, for the past hour, I got a lot done. Near where the Red Wolf of Rod again appears. Grabbing this root resin because there's never a time you don't need root resin. Oh, it must be on that corpse. Nope, that's golden runes. That's one of the Mikulas and Lilies that I need. Will you fuck off? I am actually not bothering you at all. She never looked. No, it's just a dead end. Okay. Is there a place to jump around out there? No. Oh, good, they fucked up. Alright, teleport out of there just so I don't have to deal with it, and then I can make the bewitching branch. I know I have the other thing required. Sacramental button. I have exactly enough to make four. I've never used them before, so I don't know how they work 100%. I just know what they do. And the reason I know is, be incidentally, because of uh, Zuli the Witch. She actually proved that um, they actually work on Ashes of War. I'm only assuming it'll work on this guy, and if it doesn't, it's going to be very annoying. I don't know why I did that. Oh, wait, what's Mogrin's doing? Does that just give me an insane amount of health? Doesn't that, it doesn't matter because, yeah, it just greatly raises health. It doesn't really matter because I don't have any rune arcs to activate. And the only real um, way to harvest them is helping people or ra invading people. And I forgot to send it down. my uh, mimic gets into a casting frenzy what I'll do is I'll uh, take off all my spells that are not the black flame plus the uh, blood flame Because they're still around, he technically can't uh, move on to his next phase. That was interesting.
fact that he just nailed me. Damn it! Good news is, though, we found out that the witching blade, uh, the witching, the witching stick does work. I've got one more, one more try at it, and that's it. I'm also gonna change up my spells. Like I, did. I don't know what happened to my, um, my mimic here. He was just standing off doing nothing. All right, we're gonna take off everything that isn't the spells that I'm actively using, plus that, and the reason for that. I can actually use this now. Oh, that's gold. Cool. I can use this though. Awesome. But I don't care. That is a constant health regen. Alright. That's a constant health regen, so if I activate it, uh, my mimic tier will also heal. Or if he activates it, he will also heal. Send it down. I did not. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Because the only thing I'm going to be. I'm going to use this on opening so I can give him the healing. It's going to take it a second to activate, which is annoying. I might be able to get away with not having to use a healing thing on myself and just let the blessing of the Earth Tree take over. Assuming I actually have enough to cast it. Okay. I do. Mimic tier is garbage, and apparently the other guy I, I, I took over didn't do any good either. You know what? Screw it. You look like a strong ally. Oh, my Mimic tier is still trying to kill the uh, shield guy. from full health to no health. That was goddamn bull. And what was my Mimic tier doing? He was attacking random places. I think his AI goes to funky if... That's an idea. I don't summon the Mimic tier until second phase. I just use his Ashes of War, which I'll do that in the next time. I'm, I'm done for today. Alright. Appreciate y'all being here. I plan on seeing y'all in the next one, which I don't know if I'm going to do my Twitch stream today because I kind of want to hang out with my siblings. So I'll just see y'all in the next one, all right? And